So you guys probably saw at least the images, perhaps the video of the 21 Coptic Christians that they beheaded on the beach. It was, uh, I think, in Libya. It was yeah, it was pretty, in, Libya. in Libya. Yeah, it was pretty awful. Uh, so I don't want to get too into the minutia of that. But what I think is interesting about this is this debate that we're starting to have a little bit about the propaganda. Should we be showing these videos? Should we be talking about them? Are we just aiding in their propaganda? Are we making them more, uh, is more easily? Here's some of the, the images you can see right here. I mean, they just beheaded 21 of these people at the same time, uh, and then there were images of bloody water. It was pretty terrible. But basically, you know, are we aiding in their propaganda when we talk about this stuff? Are we somehow strengthening them? We, yes. We've talked about it a little bit before. What, what yes, do you think? yes. Even what we're doing right now is strengthening. It, it, no, it's true. But certainly what Fox News did, you know, at least if we are commenting on it, we're not forwarding their propaganda in a sense. But what Fox News did when they showed that unedited 22-minute video that they put out, that you are now providing a platform for their propaganda. Yeah. You are so you're not talking about this one, you're talking about the Jordanian pilot. I'm talking pilot. about the Jordanian that, pilot. Yeah. But this is, a, but, but you know, when Chris Matthews goes on MSNBC and he's like, oh my God, what are we gonna do? We gotta come together and fight this people. That's exactly what ISIS wants us to do. They want us to overreach. They just, again, this is not our problem. This is a, a thousands of year old problem between Sunnis and Shias that we shouldn't be getting in the middle of, and we can't bomb our way out of this. Yeah, but well, should we feel a little guilty because we are the ones, as you alluded to in the last segment, that started the Iraq, the wrong Iraq war and thus left this yes, crazy Yes, I do, baggage? I do. I think, yeah. I, I don't think it's easy. And I think if there's a way to, to, to get these, there's an opportunity, always an opportunity when there's guys this crazy. Because, I, by the way, I watched that video. I found yeah. it, I watched it. A couple things happened when I watched it because I wanted to see, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm a, I was a journalist. If, yeah. I'd been, if I'd been working, of course I would have seen it. And I thought I should see it. Yeah. It's incredibly hard to watch. I, I've, I'm incredibly struck by the, by the composure of the victims in this. So I don't know what's happening there because there are edits made. Mm -hmm. So, but that said, it is, it depresses you. It is, it can ruin your entire day to watch one of these videos. I don't know that we're furthering their propaganda because one thing that is happening is, is that as these guys keep doing things like this, they're making enemies of our enemies. Yeah. And, and in that is an opportunity that maybe there's some evidence as you mentioned with the uh, uh, arming the Syrian, was that in this segment or the last segment? Well, <laughs> yeah, right. who were, it's, it's a lot it's of us. We are willing to have Syrian anti-Assad rebels orchestrate our airstrikes. The, this has opened up opportunities with Iran. That this is, so the, the Muslim world, even some jihadists are together in that, hey, 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 maybe stop cutting people's heads off. Yeah. Maybe stop executing women in the street, that was Al-Qaeda, that video, and and, uh, and that made ISIS angry. So there are opportunities here. I, I don't know what, you shouldn't air their whole video. I yeah. get that. But I don't know that talking about it is is is, is the wrong thing to do. They right. want us so, to come. They want the end times, and they want, they are, they are, they are saying, hey, come get us, come put American boots on the yes. ground. They want it, they, they want, want it that. bad, they right. do want so, it so bad. So do you see that distinction though, between talking about it and showing the stuff? Because that's, that's okay. the part, so there was the video of, uh, the, the woman being shot, that they literally just shot another elderly woman in that the street. That was in Syria. And all these people were cheering and blah, blah, blah. Now, I tweeted the link because to me, it's like we need to understand some of this. Like if this was World War II, I think if people had maybe seen more images of concentration camps or something, maybe we would have done more. Now, again, I'm not saying we should do anything. I've been, I was against the Iraq War a year ago. But to me, seeing it doesn't necessarily mean we have to do something, but we can at least have a debate about it, which I don't think we're really doing. No, I, th I think it's it's good in a sense that if we talk about it in the right way, meaning we don't let these videos make us thirsty for blood. Yeah. Don't let those videos make us want to ramp up our war. And by the way, that woman who got shot in the street in Syria, um, she was talking loud on a cell phone in an elevator. I mean, <laughs> I mean, at some point you have to draw a line, and I'm glad that finally they are in Syria. Yeah. How, how powerful uh, do you think ISIS really is? Because that's the other part related to the propaganda thing. Yeah, we see these horrible things. I didn't watch the 21 people get beheaded, but you, we see all this stuff. And then part of me is like, is to your point, like, I don't want to overstate how much power they actually right. have. They yeah. don't have an air force, you know what I mean? Like. How, We've how, killed 6,000 of them. We were told in the beginning there was 20 to 50,000 of them. Killing 6,000 if there's 20,000. You made a big difference. So I'm I'm for, look, I would be for finishing them off quickly if I thought that that would work. Yeah. You know, we just know that in, if, 
that we're not, we don't seem capable of that. We don't seem capable, this isn't Grenada. We can't go in, spend 72 hours there and leave and high five each other and say, look, Reagan just won a war. Let me tell you something else that happened that I meant to mention very quickly when I looked up yep. that video. I was really worried about looking up that video and I thought people were gonna know I looked up I, this video. I thought the same exact that thing. That was the first time that I thought the people, the NSA is, uh, that's a crazy thing to think about that, that the government is watching me look at this video and will they think that I'm, that I like this video, that I want, and then I thought, so I should just stop. And I, but I mean, I don't think anybody's really looking, but it was chilling, it was chilling. It affected, I'm in my own office, in my home, afraid of what I'm looking up on the computer. Yeah. That was a weird thing to feel. Well, to that point, we did a story last week that something like 63% of reporters in the United States think that the government's spying on them. So uh, That's you, a big you number. Might, that's wow. a pretty high that's, number. That's yeah. almost half. You might be right.